Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of a neat new little quadcopter. This is a Fury Bee, or Furry Bee, if you will. Toad 90, micro FPV racer. Uh, looking at this little thing, um, let's look at it. We'll start from the front to back. We have a 600 TVL camera, 48 channel, all-in-one FPV uh, transmitter, uh, 25 milliwatt. Uh, what, what else do we got? We have uh, 401 ESCs, 10 amp. We have an Omnibus F3 flight control board loaded up with Betaflight 3.1.0, an older version of Betaflight, but we're going to see how it works today. I'm going to, you know, fly it with the original version of Betaflight just to see how it performs out of the box. We have 7,500 kV motors here. Should give it pretty some month with that 10 amp ESC. Uh, additionally, we have a uh, 7.4 volt, 450 milliamp per hour. ADC battery, so it should allow a lot of current draw from that battery with the ADC there. Um, we got a beeper, and uh, additionally, with the uh, FPV camera, it has on screen display, so we'll be able to view on screen parameters. Uh, what else? Uh, this came comes with a little wire monopole FPV or not FPV re reception antenna, control antenna. Um, I did have to put a zip tie on here and uh, use some um, uh, melt tubing, shrink tubing here to uh, make sure that this antenna does not get into the uh, motors or into the propellers. So keep that in mind. You might want to do that, folks. Additionally, you got to be careful with the, uh, the uh, wires from the battery here. You don't want them getting into the propellers either. And the way I do that is, I'll show you here shortly, I normally twist those wires, twist this particular wire here before I connect it, and that tends to keep the wire down and away from the um, propellers. Now one thing about this camera, uh, it was pretty much flat with the deck looking straight forward. Um, I did was able to tilt it back a bit and you want to do that if you want to get some speed but I wasn't able to get much more of an angle. Of, it looks like about 15 to 20 degrees and that's about the maximum angle I was able to tilt it back before the antenna starts hitting there and the back part of the camera starts hitting structure. So keep that in mind, folks. That might limit the speed of this particular quadcopter. But with this battery and the motors and the uh, ESC, this might be more of a, a freestyle quadcopter. I'll, I'll try to do some tricks with it. Um, also, I'll try to go through the trees here to see how it performs um, as a racer. You know, see how, how much speed I can get and how much maneuverability. So go, let's go for a fly this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy its flight. Okay, see how I twisted the wire and it, by doing one twist of this uh, main power wire from the battery before connecting it, you're, it it's able to stay down and I also put the uh, balance plug down with it. Um, this is available in FreeSky, FlySky and DSM versions, uh, but since I'm going to be using my T8SG, it doesn't matter, this has all those versions. I like this uh, transmitter, T8SG Jumper. Um, you can use it with just about any protocol. Uh, quadcopter that uses the major protocol, so I'm using it with it today. Uh, let's fly. We are going to start off in angle mode just to see how it flies and arming the quadcopter and taking off. Let's see how it flies in angle mode here. Going around, coming around. We're going to try a punch. Let's bring it in closer so you can see it. There's what it looks up like up close and punch. Uh, somewhat punch. So all in all, it should be a good flyer here. Uh, well, let's land it and then we'll go right into acro flying. So let's try it here. Not on me. <laughs> There's the landing pad. Landing pad and safety. Okay, we're gonna go right into acro flying next. Okay, we're gonna start off. I'm gonna select acro here. Take off to the air. Okay, acro is selected and arming the quadcopter and take it to the air. Okay, let's go around the trees first, see how it performs going around the trees. I want to see how it feels. But yeah, it's, it's camera is still, even as much as I could get the camera up, it's camera it still prevents me from getting full speed on this quadcopter. Let's go over that tree. <laughs> so, you know, as a racer, I don't know. This is about the fastest speed you're going to be able to fly it comfortably without uh, raising your head up. <laughs> so we'll go around here and we'll turn it around and then try a punch.
Let's see, I think I have the acro, or, ac or I'm sorry, air mode. Let me try air mode on this too. Yeah, I'm in air. Let's try air mode. Woo, going up. Does nice. Okay. Coming around. Let's try going up again. Does well. Woo. Going around. So more or less, Woo. this might be Woo. for um, acrobatics <laughs> or Woo. freestyle flying. In other words, and it does it quite well, actually. You know, uh, if only they could tilt up that camera a little bit better, but I guess that's not what this is meant for. <laughs> this is meant for uh, just freestyle flying, and it does it very well. So if you're looking for a little freestyle flyer, this might be for you. A little toad. A little toad 90 from Furry Bee. Coming by again. Let's bring it down close so you can see it. I'm fly it around a little bit here. Again, I can't get much speed out of it because uh, the max back angle on it of the camera, I can't set it up any very high. That's my voltage voltage is still good but yeah this one does nicely here flying around as a uh, freestyle flyer now unfortunately I'm not very adept at freestyle flying <laughs> so you're gonna get getting the best quite cup 101 could give you here but it's a fun little flyer, it certainly is. I I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, my voltage. 6.7, 6.5, it is lasting a long time. They say you were supposed to get five minutes of flight time out of this, or six to eight minutes, I'm sorry. I don't know about six to eight, but we are over four minutes. over four minutes with this thing let's see if we can truly get eight minutes of flight time with the stock battery let's go through i'm gonna go through the trees i'm getting tired of uh flipping it around let's oh darn 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 my wife's gonna get it for me hold on well unfortunately that landed in a pile of sand and i don't want to fly it anymore until i there's some dirt in there i got some sand inside the motor so i'm gonna have to blast it out to get out of here but it it was a very nice flyer <laughs> while I was flying there. Um, it, it's still good. I'll be, I will be able to get the sand out of the mo those motors with, with a blast of air and holding it upside down and turning them. But, um, oh no, yeah. Um, the only limitation I didn't like about it is the, the camera angle. Um, I wish it could go back further so you can get some speed in it because this could be a nice little racer too. But it is a good freestyle flyer. Um, I guess in the hands of a real freestyle flyer, it would be even more spectacular. But I enjoyed flying it. Very good flyer. So this is the Fury B90. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.